it's Nicole and I'm here with Scrap Your Stash Saturdays and this kit I put together three years ago to go to a crop and I never cropped it. I think I had done like over 50 kits to go so there was no way I could get that done all in the weekend. So I still had all the pattern papers together and the pictures and I think I only have like six or seven maybe to scrap. Um, I decided this at the end of last year and this you know this year to get that done and just get those pages uh, into my scrapbook. I only had a little bit of time this morning. We had to um, get going and um, it's Mason's birthday on Monday and we were um, bringing him to McDonald's this afternoon and also going to the movies. So I only had a little bit of time because we had hockey at night. So I just kind of grabbed that kick quick kit quickly and just started putting it together and the background is just pink cardstock and the first that bright pink actually all the pattern papers are from Lily B Design I don't even think they are a scrapbooking company anymore but they had a lot they whenever they put paper kits out their papers were very usable for backgrounds and stuff. I just absolutely love them. I still have a whole bunch of their stuff, so I need to get on that and use it, right? Now, I because I was trying to hurry, I just thought, just commit, just get things down. And I put that three-inch strip with the polka dots a little too low. I wanted it a little higher. And then I decided, well, okay, then you'll just do a cluster to the top left which at right now I'm doing it horizontally. Eventually I'll decide to do it vertically. And I had these uh, flower sack from October afternoon. They're from Woodland Park and that's 2012. So I must have put it away um, just as almost as I got them. And um, so they've been sitting in that giant baggie <laughs> with all this stuff waiting to be used. So I'm going through and I'm trying to find some flowers. That card is from a cut apart sheet and I think it's Simple Stories. It looks like a Simple Stories uh, card and um, it's a four by six card and just says just a typical girl and that's where I'm going to do my journaling which my journaling is already done on the um, recipe card but I ran out of time so um, I did the journaling after not during the video but um, I did the journaling after we just had to run so at least I got the page done so that I could do the voiceover and um, put it up on YouTube today um, so I just put I cut another piece of uh, the Lily B design pattern paper it's the back side of the polka dot and it's like hexagons and I just put it to the left of the photo just for a little bit of pop of color and now I'm layering up uh, the flower cluster and I'm also going to do a cluster uh, using one of the tags. And it's going to have sort of the second title. Uh, so a subtitle, I guess, right there. Then I had put aside some washi tape with this kit. And I decided to put it on top of that journaling card. So it looks like, you know, you just put it up on the bulletin board. And you use some tape to put it up. And that's what I did there. And then I'm going to end up putting some at the bottom. And then... Um, Actually, I meant to put some at the top layer too, but I didn't. But I ended up putting it uh, with the tag. So three places. And the title is going to be Flyer. And at first, I thought I would put it at the top there of um, the layout. And I decided against it. So from my stash, I grabbed the Doodle Bug uh, Tinsy Type Letters in white. And I just thought it would really pop um, off the page with the pink. And also, um, I did ha I had put some fabric um, chipboard, I guess. They're from Studio Calico. They used to have those. Um, they were all over the place. They have cameras and butterflies and arrows and everything. And uh, so I had put three butterflies and a camera which I'm going to end up using in white I'm not even going to bother coloring them and um, so I, I thought that the white title would look good and on the tag I'm just going to put cheer evolution and um, in the journaling I'm going to put where it was and stuff because that was 
that was a fairly long trip for us. It was a 20 hour bus drive to go there. And, uh, but it was a lot of fun. So I'm just going to layer those up and just to let everyone know, I just released my third class. It's called Demystifying Clustering and where I'm, uh, we're going to, I do 15 pages and when I do the clustering part, I have it on real time and kind of talk about why I'm choosing to put a cluster, you know, here instead of there. And, you know, that sometimes you have more than one option. So the link for my class is going to be in the description below. And just another little note, um, there's a girl that went to school with Caitlin, which is who is in this picture. Anyway, this is the second time she battles cancer and she's only 22. And uh, so a dollar from every purchase is going to go to um, um, go to help her because she has to go to Halifax, which is um, a, a hospital that's about three hours away from where we are uh, for more therapy and treatments and everything. So uh, in the description of the class video, I have a link to her story and stuff so if you want to go check that out and um, anyway so just back to the layout I evolution is a very long word so I cutting each side of that little little word and or a little letter and um, just so that it fits on that tag and then I just took a flower, cut it in half so that I could put the rest of the flower at the top of the layout. Now the biggest cluster, which has my journaling, and also I'm going to end up putting my title up there, is, you know, there's three flowers and then the rest only have the one. And then it has, I had in those, and I don't, I think those are from Stampin' Up. They're kind of like little resin um, little flowers so I'm going to end up putting one in each uh, cluster and this is where I kind of messed up I had glued it down and I think it's because like I said I was trying to rush trying to you know so that I, we could go and then I decided to make them banners well banners sideways just didn't look good and then so I have this little white spot there but I'm going to end up uh, taking part of the flower and coloring coloring no covering that up and then also taking a little wood veneer and putting it over. So I'm going to move it over to the top left. And I'm going to put a little flower in that cluster, a wood veneer, and one of the butterflies. And this is where I decide I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape there. I thought of putting some at the top, and then I just never did go back to it. And I know I want to put a flower in that cluster. That that uh, not flower but butterfly that butterfly is just too big for that little cluster so I'm going to move it back um, to the bigger cluster now what I'm looking for is a word because I got a word with the flowers and it says delightful day then I got a word with the tag that says beautiful so I wanted a word with the top cluster also so I'm looking around and I couldn't find anything else in that Woodland Park flower sack. So eventually I'm just going to go into my stash and I know that's all I'm looking for. And um, actually I, I still had, I just finished the class and put it up yesterday. So I still had uh, the container of the class all there, not put away yet. So I knew that there was little word stickers in there. So I'm going to go and get a word sticker from one of the sheets and where I tried to rip that apart a while ago to move it up um, it was kind of flipping up so I end up gluing that down using my fine line bottle which has quick dry adhesive in it it works great because it has a long nozzle and you can stick it um, you know somewhere like that where you can stick it underneath and um, put the glue in so the top word I I found always and I really like that now there was another word that I wanted to put it's that one right there but I just couldn't find a spot for it um, so I'm just gonna put it back on the sticker sheet and if you saw there uh, for some reason in the winter we don't get ladybugs in the summer in my house we get ladybugs in the winter time 
<laughs> Obviously, they like my house to hibernate, but so that was a little ladybug there, so I kind of shoot it away. I thought maybe that I would, because I had put twine with this to try to use up, and uh, three years ago, because I used quite a bit more twine three years ago that that I do now, and um, I tried to use it, and I decide, ah, no, I, I decided against it. Now that I have my paper embellishments down, now it's just it's time for the finishing touches of embellishments, and I like to finish off with little enamel dots or brads or something like that. So it's going to take me a few minutes to decide on some brads and I'm going to choose those little pink ones. I just like how they are soft and I'm going to put a couple in each cluster. And that's going to finish off this page and I don't have any pictures taken. Um, it'll be on the blog within a week or so. And that's it. The page is done. So if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up just to let YouTube know. If you, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. I upload uh, about three videos a week. So thanks for watching. Bye.